Welcome back to Home Studio's third video in the Python Anywhere series. We're going to be working in Python Anywhere with a MySQL database. We're going to be adding a table and adding content. And we'll be picking up after the last video where we created a state database. So I'm logged into Python Anywhere. And remember, this is the free account. And I'm going to go into databases. And there's my Homa Studio States database. And remember, when we create databases in Python anywhere, it puts our username and then a dollar sign and then the name. And I always try to keep the name lowercase. And sometimes I'll make tables uppercase with a capital S just to differentiate them. So we already have our username, which is going to be the username for Python anywhere, and our password, which I was using my SQL root because I can't use just root like I originally wanted to do. So what I'm going to do, unlike the last video where I went into the bash console, what I'm going to do here is just click right on our database and it'll take us into our my SQL console, which will be running then and it's going to be just for this database so it'll be all ready to incorporate sql commands to do whatever we want queries to that database if we need so we're going to add content and i'll show you how to do that and i'll even have a link to some of this so you don't have to create it from scratch now you might say why well, are we going to use php my admin how are we going to do this well i'll show you we'll do a kind of a mix of some things here we could use the console to actually do that or we can actually source sql files and i'll show you both ways to do that now, first of all, just to make sure we're in here, I'm just going to put in an SQL command called show tables. And you don't have to put in SQL in caps, but that's typically how it's shown. And it says empty set, so we don't have a table. So we're going to add a table. And you may say, well, how do you add a table? Well, I'll give you some resources here that you could use. I'm going to use, like I did with GORM, W3Schools, because it's a great resource. And they have a lot of sample code that you could use. And I'm going to go to the SQL tutorial. And they have a lot of things about SQL, and they'll even tell you how to select and how to do create database, drop database, create table, alter table, all that kind of stuff. Matter of fact, I'll click on create table because we're going to create a table. And there's some samples here. Now, obviously, this will change. But you might say, well, you were using a states database. How are we going to do that? Well, let me show you something else. I'll go back here. And one thing I'll do just to have this open, I like to have multiple tabs open. I'm going to go here and just right click on dashboard and say open a new tab just so I have dashboard open I like to keep the console open in a tab and also my dashboard open in case I need to go back to files and things like that so it doesn't take me out of my console so if I have to go to any files I could go there and this is telling me that my console is open right now because we are going to create some files here matter of fact I'm going to go to files and I didn't make any files yet these are all generic files here and you can create a directory or a folder I'm going to make a folder called databases now I'm just doing that now just because I'm putting database stuff and I'll click on new directory. Now there's nothing in here right now. Now you can upload a file if you wanted to. So for example, I'll put in a link to a file called states.txt. Now this isn't completed because we're still going to learn some of the SQL here. But I have a link here on my GitHub and it's our home. I, Homa Studio wasn't available so I had to use my R Homa, but I put Homa Studio downloadable text files. Now if you just click on these, it's going to show you the code from the text file. But if you wanted to download it, you can right click on it and save link as and download the text file then you can upload it you don't have to do all that right now here's what what i'll do and this will be kind of helpful getting to know your way around python anywhere is i'm going to go here and instead of uploading a file i'm going to make a new file and i'm just going to call it states.txt and i'll create new file now it'll take me out of that little window of the dashboard and take me right into the file. And remember, this is a, a console you could use for Python. You know, you could do your Python code here and your output here, but I'm just gonna put a text file in here. And this is the text file. And I'm just gonna highlight it all, Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac, and then Control C or Command C to copy it. And I'll come back here and I'm gonna paste it. Now it's already called states.txt and it's already in here. Now I'm just putting it in here just to have it, just to have it in here. So I'm just going to hit save. And then I'm going to go back to my databases and I'm going to make another file called states SQL. Now the reason I'm making another one is we can actually run an SQL file, but I'm going to copy from it first. So here's an SQL file that we're doing. And what I'm going to do first is remember, we're going to make a table. Now we could do something here. I'm going to go back to W3Schools and I apologize for jumping around, but if I go to W3Schools, here's how you create a table. And they have some code here to do it and they do it with some kind of sample database in W3Schools. But I'm just going to go here and 
copy this stuff and I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna paste this now notice that I had the text file that's just pretty much data and this is actually for SQL so that way it'll color code it in SQL format so that things are blue and stuff like that so now they're not capitalizing the things the way I would normally capitalize them but that's fine and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back and look at my my code we're gonna create a table and I'm gonna call it states now I'm gonna have to open up something again so I'm gonna open up this in a new tab so I'm gonna have another tab open but actually I think I'm done with this so I'm gonna close up this this stuff here I don't need this I don't need this thing anymore because I already pasted it into a text file so I'm gonna close that up and what I'll do is I'll open this in a new tab and click on that states text so this is the text file this is the SQL file that I'm working on they both had the same name just different extensions so this is just the raw data now what I wanted to show here and I can even copy this out of here I'm gonna copy this out these things up here because these are the column names so I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna put it down here right now I'll just put it there just so I have them so the column names are gonna replace these things these things are from W3 schools so I'm gonna put a column name and I'll just cut this and I'll put a column name called order ID and it's gonna be an int and it's gonna be I think also the primary key we're not gonna auto increment it's already gonna have a number I already have numbers built in so they're gonna use those ID numbers because they're in the order that the states came into the Union so they're they, there's a reason they're not just ID numbers really this is called order ID meaning the order they came into the Union that's why it says order ID it's gonna be int primary key and just to be consistent I'll do a capital INT now you don't put commas in between these you only put commas after the next column so it's int primary key and I don't think I have to put anything else right now now this part's gonna be state I'll cut it and put state here that's another column we're gonna use it's gonna be order ID then the state and I'll just make varcar caps you don't have to but it just looks better that way and then abbreviation so that we have the two letter abbreviation for the state so I'm gonna put that here and I'll make varcar caps again now be careful that you don't spell this wrong now varcar just means like a string so variable characters and then there's year established so I'll cut that and put year established here that's when the state came into the Union and that's also going to be varcar even though it's a number you could still do that I mean you could make it an int if you want to but I'll just keep it a varcar and and actually one thing to note I have these in quotes and then the date and this stuff is all without quotes so actually going back here I'm probably better off putting year established as an int and I should put four so that would make more sense even though I'm kind of changing it here and then the size I'm gonna cut size and paste it here and instead of var car I'm gonna make that an int as well and I don't think I'm gonna put anything here because I'm not sure what it'll be so I'm not gonna put a size here and I have to put one more so then I need a comma and I'll just type pop because it's three letters and I'll put int and I won't put anything else and I won't put anything here now it, if you've ever done JSON or anything you have to put like a semicolon at the end you don't put anything here because the semicolons after the parentheses so it's outside of here so you don't have to put anything here you don't need a semicolon there so skip that and I could get rid of this stuff and all this is doing and I'll save it this is the code to create my table I'm creating a table and if you're not sure double check and look at this and look through some of the stuff here it's creating a table with these columns order ID and with these data types int which is going to be the primary key and then a var car var car and then an int which is the year established and then size which is an int and then pop population which is an int and then it's going to end and all this stuff is in parentheses so this is just creating the table it is not populating the table it's just creating the columns just like in PHP my admin when we create a table now what you can do here is you can copy this and go back to your console and just put it right into your console and create a table because we don't have any tables so I'm gonna make one right now so again what we're doing is we're copying this stuff order ID state abbreviation your established size pop we're creating these one two three four five six columns in a table named states with a capital S instead of a small s which is our database name and we have commas at the end of all of these except the last one and there's a semicolon that's kind of going outside the parentheses here so our semicolon is finishing off our SQL statement that we're doing here so again I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna paste it 
and you can see it puts little arrows for every line and you need the semicolon and then I'm just going to hit enter and either I'll get an error or it'll work now it says query OK that means it works so to check if it works you could do show tables semicolon and there's my tables we created a table named states and there's nothing in it there's only one row because we don't have any records in it yet so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some records and since we're at the 10 minute mark let's take a break here and we'll insert our records in part two